What's up guys, this is Ashnox. It's time for the summoning session to get Bad Cat Armin. The question is, will I join the 111 club to pity? That's a new one because we have a 4 star Moonlight Hero Pity system. Finally, it was about time. So let's go in there. This is on my third account. There is 4 hour left for the World Arena season and I need to do it on 4 accounts. So the showcase of Bad Cat Armin will be tomorrow. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. She'll, she's going to have 15 skill ups. I'm going to be building her with the 15 skill ups. I'll give you guys my thoughts as I summon for her. And the rotation looks real good, actually. I could use everything in that rotation almost. So the way it works, the new system is that you can uh, go between the 5 star and the 4 star pity. The uh, countdown is separate for each one of them. You can resume where you were at. You can see that I got 197 left for... Uh, you know, the five star moonlight and you can see, you know, I can just go back real cool. So yeah, well, I joined 111 club. Now this hero is kind of weird, right? Her kit, there's uh, some new stuff in there, right? There's some injury. She can help the team. She's not selfish. Force the frontliner to counter attack. It seems to be a chance though. That's the thing. Okay, let, let's look at the rotation real quick before I start summoning. Okay, there's Arbiter Vildred. Uh, I don't know, memory imprint, uh, that could be cool, I guess. Uh, but, of course, I want Bad Cat Armin. I have Arbiter Vildred already. Now, there's Violet. That is, uh, yeah, that, that, that hero, oh my god. He is bothering a lot of players. So, there's Violet, and I can definitely put Circus Fantasia to good use. Uh, there's Conqueror Lilius uh, that I could put this on because I really like it. The effectiveness increase, it goes down as the, you know, the battle progresses. So definitely uh, a step up from the Cursed Compass I'm using if I can pull that one. Okay, let's start it off, guys. Bad Cat Armin. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Uh, X10. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Here we go again. So this hero has an AoE attack on skill 1. She attacks everyone if it's on her own turn. If you counterattack, it will not work. If you get called into a dual attack, it will not work. It will be a single target attack instead. Now, what I'm thinking, boys, is that I would put the Champion's Trophy, uh, Holiday Euphine's uh, Limited Artifact, on her. Now, hear me out. The skill 1 on her turn will be, okay, an AoE attack, and I have a chance for each target to stun them. So, it seems pretty good to me. It's gonna be later on. Oh, that's it! Oh my god! Are you kidding? That was ridiculous. Okay. Uh, when there was no pity, you guys know, there's some showcases I just didn't do because I didn't look out. You know, I didn't believe in this system. We need a pity. We needed a pity for 4-star Moonlight Heroes. Now there is one so I can showcase every single 4-star ML that will come out. And of course, I'm already doing the 5-star five star, five star ML, all the RGB, limited or non-limited, uh, already with 15 skill ups. But yeah, Batcat Armin, can she do damage? Is her damage high? I'll be building her with a pretty high amount of health. Uh, you know, crit, crit damage, you know, 100% uh, crit chance. And uh, we'll see what kind of numbers she's able to do. She's not a knight, so she cannot have Elbrus Ritual Sword. I mean, you could be building her uh, in various ways. You know, you could have her on counter, you could have her with speed. You could initiate, not initiate, but I mean, like, she could go before the rest of your team or something like that. Or she could have a decent amount of speed to kind of put the barrier on your team to boost your team's ability. Uh, so there is that. That's uh, that's one way to go about it. But uh, I think I might be trying her out on counter. The skill one is not really impactful because she's not going to be dealing AOE attacks if she counters, right? But with the way uh, that I play my heroes in this account, I'll try her first on counter. Uh, but I might go with speed main stat boots. Let me just show you guys how I'm going to be, uh, you know, building this hero, man. Not even close to joining the pity. That was really lucky right there. Definitely stay tuned for the showcase after, uh, well, tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how she performs. If you don't know if you should be pulling, if she's going to be good for you. Okay, so let me grab her real quick and uh, we'll get uh, the build going. Okay, boys. The video got corrupted again. I have the 15 skill ups on her. So let me talk about that real quick. How should you skill up Bad Cat Armin? The first thing is get the minus one turn cooldown on the skill three, especially if you're going to be building her with quite a bit of speed. The speed buff is nice. You know, she's going to be cycling faster. You want to get the barrier on your team kind of like a fa as fast as possible. You want to boost the team's ability, right? Uh, if you're running her with Fallen Cecilia, maybe not have so much speed. Let the enemy 
maybe like throw a bunch of damage at you to break the barrier and then it's going to be her turn to put the barrier could be quite interesting so yeah get the minus one turn cooldown on the passive now the question is is it a hundred percent chance to counter attack for the foremost ally or is the chance the same as the chance to get the critical hit damage buff now i'm assuming that it's the same chance it's 40 percent chance to get the critical hit damage buff to the foremost ally and also 40% chance to have them counterattack when Bad Cat Armin receives damage. So if it was 100% chance to counter, man, I mean, it, it might be. I, I might be wrong. We'll see when I test her out. That's the, the thing. Uh, but if it's 100%, man, th th that'd be real solid. That'd be real solid right there. If that's the case, you probably want to max out skill 2, the passive, uh, after getting 3 uh, skill ups into the S3. But if it's 40%, I would just go like uh, 3 points on the s3 three point in the s2 if you're going bruiser crit crit damage build you know uh three point into the skill number one and then i would just end up maxing uh the passive and if the damage is pretty good right max skill three max skill one boom done finish the build like that so let's just check out how i have her build let me give you guys my thoughts uh with this build i'm going for right so she's got triple S memory imprint, uh, three green Vildreds, one Crimson Armin, and I had two Meteor Shard from uh, the recall of a four-star Moonlight Hero in the past. So triple S, pretty cool. I'm going to be getting AoE uh, attack percentage for the rest of the team. Uh, that's definitely more value than self crit chance. If you need a crit chance, maybe you build her around that, right? So that's pretty nice, you know, almost 15% crit chance right there. Uh, so yeah. Now, as you can see, the artifact that I have on her is Champion's Trophy. Since the attack on skill 1 will attack everyone on her own turn, I'm thinking that having a chance per target to stun is pretty cool. It could be quite deadly. So, I'm going to be banking on this artifact, but there's definitely other options. Let's just talk about that real quick. Rimuru's artifact, Anti-Magic uh, Mask, could be one of them. Right? I don't know what her scaling is based on attack. If you know, let us know in the comment section. I mean, you want to boost the survivability. Uh, you want to maybe, uh, if, especially if she's on a, um, on a, yeah, on a faster build, Crimson Seed is going to be uh, pretty good, right? Uh, you could have Timeless Anchor if you have on a slower build because it's not limited to one trigger per turn. It can trigger multiple times before you actually get your turn. So it's going to be better. It's a three-star artifact too. So there's that. If the damage is there, I mean, you could go portrait. Uh, but we'll test it out. Uh, if you need some crit chance for the team. Uh, what else do you have? Border Queen doesn't work because she doesn't have an all-attack skill to trigger it. And uh, okay. Alancy Nox's Wrath. Uh, that, that one, you can get quite a bit of crit chance building up over time. Since she is an injury-based hero with the skill number one. Uh, she's gonna be in longer battles. I guess she's gonna be better in longer battles. Uh, RTA maybe uh, with the frenzy building up as well. I don't know if the injury is impactful enough. You could have her on an injury set to just pump the injury ASAP uh, as much as possible. Uh, injury Bellion with her. Oh my god, put Bellion in the front line, make her uh, trigger counter attacks. Oh boy. Uh, th th yeah, th that kind of like gives me a headache just thinking about it. That seems pretty dangerous right there. So yeah, uh, maybe you want to down someone, get her some crit chance, get her to follow up with the CR push. Uh, if they don't, if no crit, I mean, there's a lot of different ones. I'm going with Champions Trophy first. If you feel lucky, that could be one. Get some CR pushing. So yeah, a lot of different artifacts you can be wearing on her. There is also this one that is definitely a top contender right there. So the one that I'm talking about is, uh, where is it at? Where is it? So Draco Plate. Draco plate, you know, crit damage, uh, less damage from critical hits as well. So, so ability increase more damage. Draco plate, definitely a viable one for her. And uh, what else is there? I mean, you want to trigger a bunch of burns with the skill one when it's an AoE attack. You could have Junkyard Dog, but then you're not going to have high attack on her. It's not like a Holiday uh, Euphine, uh, which you want to build on attack. She gets great attack buff. So not really, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Uh, single attack, I mean, no, her skill 1 is AUE. Okay, let's go here. The way I have her built, the stats that I have on her. I went with speed main stats on my boots, hence why she doesn't have 20,000 health. But if I go with uh, health percentage main stat, 
She's gonna have uh, 20,000 health. Better survivability, but she's too slow. That's the thing. Got some boots with uh, 17 speed on the substats. I could go for that, I guess. Uh, but then I would need the crit chance self imprint, and I'm not gonna be getting the attack AoE imprint, which is wasted value there. So I'll go with that. I'll have multiple layers of protection to boost her survivability. More speed, more turns with the speed buff. I think it's going to work sort of like hand in hand. I'll still have the counter attack. She's on penetration set, which I haven't talked about. So the skill three is a single target attack, right? And then the skill one on a counter attack or when she gets called into a dual attack is going to be a single target attack, which means the penetration set will be working. So, I mean, with these stats, we'll really see what kind of damage she can do. If the damage is there, I mean, I might just put her on Portrait of the Saviors for the for memeing or something. But I don't know if it's going to be that high. I don't know if it's going to be that high. That is the question. Uh, so, yeah, I might end up going with health main stat boots later on. But I think this is a pretty decent build for her. Now, having her on a speed set with quite a bit more speed, maybe 200 speed is definitely a viable one. Uh, de definitely a viable build there because the speed buff you want to get the bear asap on your team soften up someone and then uh, work on taking taking down that target uh so yeah you don't have to build her with crazy damage because the injury you know destroying five percent of the target's maximum health is not that big of a deal assuming the multiplier is not complete garbage it's not gonna be hard to reach you know five percent of their maximum health unless they have multiple layers of protection they have a lot of damage mitigation a lot of defense so it might be harder than what i'm saying but I think that you don't actually need that much offensive power to make it work, which means like you can have more speed, more health, better suitability, more defense than what I have. Uh, and uh, you wouldn't have to run her on a counter set, to be honest. But I'll be running her like that. Let us know what you guys think about all that in the comment section. I'll be showcasing her tomorrow. I need to go in World Arena with four accounts and climb it up. It's going to be crazy, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, that's it for this one. Astronauts, good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.